Records on Represent Radio. We've got Elton joining me, um, giving us the inside scoop on all things bodybuilding. Um, so what is life like when you have to go into prep? So you're going to be going to Dubai. That's right. Yeah. To prep. Yeah. How long does prep take? Um, and does the training get more vigorous? Yeah. Or, yeah, tell me. Okay, cool. Like Dubai is just a special one. I would say that's why I like going to Dubai. Like I went there last year for two months and it was just the best prep I ever got. So prep, which obviously means preparation, is just obviously you're getting ready for a show. Like and depending on the show, depends where your shape is um, and Ooh. how much improvement you might need. Okay. It will it will vary, but on average, a prep takes twelve weeks. That's normally how long it takes. And this is twelve weeks of no eating rubbish, no, no alcohol. No. No missing nights. No, um, great sleep. Amazing sleep. With so me, much water. A lot of water. Four yeah. to six liters. Four to six liters? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I would drown myself <laughs> if I had done much I mean, water. I'm on four liters now and Already? I'm not even like... Nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is Especially crazy. Especially days that you're training twice a day. Yeah, well, yeah, that makes sense. You have to replenish. Yeah. 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 Um, so it is quite intense. Um, do you find it hard or do you get a kick out of it? Um, I get a kick out of it because... Um, mm. Like, there's nothing else that will challenge me like that. Yeah. You know? Like, and you, you really get to know yourself when you're on prep. Really? You start understanding, like, um, you start giving up um, the temporary stuff for the long term. Yeah. And I mean, for example, like, I might I might have been four weeks without sugar, and I'll just feel like a little bit of sugar. It's just, you know, just that one yeah, little sweet. Yeah, but you sweet. persevere. And really then like it just being like, is it really worth to get this thing? Mm-hmm. A little bit of pleasure? Yeah. Or should I just stick to what I'm meant to be doing? and obviously achieve the ultimate goal. Do you know what? It's very admirable, I think, bodybuilding because it takes such hard work and dedication and like commitment. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when you're doing something like that or or even just somebody who's committing themselves to to the gym, that kind of determination, you can really transfer into other aspects of your life. So whether it is, you know, your work, whether it is, you know, you know, a goal that you may want Mm -hmm. to achieve in life. I think it sets a good, such a good kind of like foundation for how much you can believe in yourself and your yeah. ability to, to, to do something. Yeah. Do you, would you say that you have learned to kind of adapt that mentality in everything that you do or do you find yeah, yourself yeah. being yeah. like- I apply that into everything. Really? Literally, yeah, yeah. 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 Like I mean, I'll I see those inspirational quotes <laughs> go up. So I would hope that you're, you're, you're meaning what you say. <laughs> no, I do, I do mean it, yeah. everything guys. But yeah, like, um, yeah, I transferred into everything. I transferred like, you know, obviously into my business side of life. So, yeah. um, making investments and then obviously learning to be patient, which is something that bodybuilding taught me. Um, persevere when you don't get the result that you want, just carry on. Mm-hmm. And, and those things you can apply to anything in life, really. Mm. You know, so, so yeah, you can definitely- It's an important thing to take away. Right, let's get into it, myth busting. Right, We're gonna go. go through a series of questions and you've got to tell us whether this is fact or whether it is fiction. And you can expand on it as well if you uh, want to. Right. Um, you have to do fasted cardio in order to burn fat. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 that's 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 a myth. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I personally do fasted cardio because it just sets up for the sets me up for the day. Okay, and also like because I'm already burning calories from the previous day, so it helps psychologically. But in the end of the day, like you're gonna lose weight, it's calories in, calories out. Yeah, period. yeah, yeah. calorie it. deficit. Yeah. No two ways about it. Nah, there is. Muscle weighs more than fat. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a fact. Like, <laughs> that's that's a fact of yeah. life. It's it is hard because I, I think people would just think that like surely it weighs the nah. same thing, but nah. <laughs> no, no. Um, the more you sweat, the more fat you burn. Oh, <laughs> no! I mean, it, it, there is there is some there is some truth to that. Really? But a lot of times, like for example, like if somebody is holding a lot of water retention, when they start training, they're gonna sweat a lot more than somebody else who's not. You know, but at the same time, my the person's intensity, the other person's intensity of training might be higher than the person that's sweating the most. Wow. So yeah, it, it, yeah, it really depends on yeah. a lot. So if you don't sweat a lot, should you be pushing yourself more? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily, not necessarily. No. Some people literally just don't, don't really sweat, sweat like that. Yeah, I don't. You that's don't? what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. You say like, you're burning do, on the I'll calories. do like I'll do like <laughs> boxing <laughs> sessions, and people will be like, "Why are you not training?" And I'm putting in the same amount yeah. of intensity as other people. And I'm just yeah. like, I just don't no, really no, sweat too no, much. Okay, don't worry. You're Maybe doing it right. Underneath my worry. armpits, but that's about <laughs> it. Um, okay, if you're not sore the day after a workout, you didn't work out hard enough. Mm, I mean. <gasps> 
yeah you can okay there's, there's some truth to it but at the same time like you have to understand that your body adapts to everything really quick okay you know so you're not always you need to gonna keep push, feel, just you want to keep pushing yourself yeah. as long as that's the main thing huh yeah you would want to do that as well but obviously like don't take it literally because this is how people get injured you know they're like oh my god i'm not so i'm not so i'm not so next thing uh, ligament went yeah you know, so yeah or they push themselves so did you see that video of that girl deadlifted and she was peeing oh shit no, <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't want to see that <laughs> sorry sorry apologies for the swearing <laughs> apologies uh but yeah i saw that and yeah. she was yeah peeing oh, whilst okay. deadlifting Ooh. stuff like that can happen like so yeah video. push yourself but but not too much yeah. um you can target the areas you want to lose fat from <laughs> that's that's a that's that's, that's a, myth. a myth it's that's a, a myth. huge myth okay yeah. expand on that one for me i'm just saying like your when you lose when you lose body fat like your your body loses everywhere because your body's like let's say it's like a, it's like let's say that your entire body is like a wall mm. so when you're losing it like you're losing it everywhere you're not just gonna lose it in one specific area yeah, the yeah, other yeah, area yeah, holds yeah. like your metabolism doesn't work like that it i think p- that, that is often quite a big misconception yeah, it um is. but no you're losing from everywhere yeah. um d- doing weights will make females look hench <laughs> 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 Only if it was that easy. No, no, no. You won't, you won't, you won't. Ladies, keep pushing in the gym. Keep Don't pushing. worry about it. You're fine. Work Trust hard. Me. You're only going to get better. You're only going to get better. You heard yeah. it here first. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in this morning. Yeah, Thank you so much me. for stopping by. Um, we can't wait to see how, how you get on later on this year. We know oh, we're going to put you. in that work. Yeah.